So recently I had an athlete reach out and, and ask, how do I fix my back? My back is so stiff. Not necessarily painful, could be, but his big question was, how do I loosen up my, my back? It feels so stiff after I stunt, and no matter what I do, I can't seem to get it to loosen up. So in this video, we're gonna go over a handful of exercises and stretches that you can do to help loosen up a stiff back. Some of them may seem pretty intuitive. Yeah, of course that's gonna help my back. Some of them you may be surprised as to how much they can give you relief, so stay tuned. So having a stiff back is something that most athletes will deal with at some time. Actually, most people deal with that sometimes in life. Believe it or not, 80% of people that are polled around the world say that at some point in their life, they feel lower back pain. So for us, it's a very common thing because of the way that our athletes are built. A lot of times we live in this hyperextended position. We use our back a whole lot, and so it can get stiff on us very, very quickly. So today we're gonna go through a few things that you can do if you are having a stiff back. You can try them all. You can find which one or two help you the most and that way you have some things in your tool belt that you can use whenever your back is feeling stiff. And if you're already feeling good, try some of these things out and see if you can feel even better. There's nothing wrong with trying to feel better too. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to do some soft tissue work. We're gonna grab either our foam roller, our lacrosse ball, or our orb. And we're going to use those around our low back. For this activity, what we're gonna have you do is have a seat on the ground. We're gonna place our orb, our foam roller, or our lacrosse ball behind our lower back. We're going to lay back onto that structure and we're going to apply pressure. Now with these, we don't want to put these things right on our spine. We don't want to roll on bones. We want to roll on the muscles around the core. And so for this, we're gonna roll through the lower back on both sides of the spine in that area between the bottom of the rib cage and the top of the pelvis until we find some tight or tender areas. Those are the things we wanna focus on. So when you find them, don't run away because they don't feel good, stay on that spot because we want to loosen that spot up and decrease some of that discomfort. Now for this, we can give you guys a time of spend a minute or two minutes or 30 seconds or whatever. That is different from person to person. So giving you a set time doesn't really help you fully or not as good as it should. What I recommend is when you find one of these tighter tender areas, you want to stop on it. Give it a number of discomfort, right? Zero to 10, how uncomfortable does it feel? Say give it a, a five or a six. We wanna stay on it till we at least cut it in half. So as you're rolling, you feel like a six or so, ow, ow, I don't like that. Stay on it till it's at least a three. If you wanna spend extra time and get it all the way out of there, that's perfectly fine too, but at least stay on it to where you feel a difference. We wanna do this on both sides of the back, and a lot of times if we do this after we do our activity, we're gonna find a lot of those tight muscles a whole lot faster. One of the other areas that we can roll out to help with our low back stiffness is actually on the front of our thighs. Now the reason we would spend some time here is, the hip flexor muscles that are deep in your body run from your spine to the front upper part of your thigh. If those muscles get tight, it yanks our back into this extended position and can give us that feeling of stiffness in the low back. Now those muscles are very deep, but the attachment site for them is again on the upper thigh. So if we use our roller, our lacrosse ball, or our orb, and we find that spot right on the top of the thigh, just below the hip crease, and we spend some time rolling there, that can help us to loosen up the muscles in the hip flexor. And believe it or not, the hip flexor, again, being part of that lower back, is gonna be something that we stretch as well. So, grab your roller or your orb or your lacrosse ball, and all you do is lay flat onto the floor, place that directly in the top part of your thigh, and again, we would roll until we find some tenderness, most of the time right below that hip crease. Make sure we don't get too far in towards the midline, we don't wanna get too far in towards um, some more sensitive structures, and we also want to make sure that we're not rolling the bone on the front of the hip. But again, with this, we wanna spend you know, anywhere from 30 seconds to two minutes, really just take your time until you feel a difference in the discomfort that you did when you first got onto it. Once we've rolled out, we feel like we've really addressed some of the tight areas. At first, we're gonna jump into our stretches. Now, one of the first stretches I like to use for a stiff low back is called a Jefferson curl or a J curl. The lower back has really only one or two directions, depending on how you look at it, of how it moves. And that is in this range of motion, forward and back. The lower back doesn't really twist a whole lot. Um, and that's usually where most injuries will occur. So the Jefferson curl is a fantastic stretch slash exercise to unlock lower back stiffness. To do the Jefferson curl, you would simply stand upright with your feet together. From there, you would take your chin and tuck it toward your chest, slowly start to roll your body down until you're in a fully flexed position. Once you're at the bottom of this fully flexed position, we wanna take three to five deep breaths, really big deep belly breaths so that we can feel our spine 
opening and stretching out. From there, we're gonna basically undo that process by rolling back up segment by segment. It's not a fast activity, it's actually a very slow and controlled activity and should be started with zero weight. For the Jefferson Curl, usually three to five repetitions of going down and back up are a perfect place to begin to start unlocking that forward and back motion. Now, once we've gotten the Jefferson Curl unlocking that forward and back motion, the top part of the lower back and getting into like the rib cage, that area does have a little bit more rotation. There are some muscles on the side of the spine that can help guide those, and so we want to make sure we stretch those out. The next stretch we're gonna do is called a lat QL combo stretch. To perform this, we'd have you have a seat on the ground, either in a straddle position or in a butterfly position. From here, we're gonna grab our arm, pull it over our head, almost like we're doing a tricep stretch. From there, we're gonna lean to the side and also twist, and that should give you a nice stretching sensation from the bottom of your rib cage all the way down to the top of your pelvis. For this, we'd perform this 30 to 60 seconds on both sides, making sure that we feel that stretch all the way down. Once we finish the lat QL combo stretch, we can simply bring our legs back in and perform a standard butterfly stretch. Now with this, we're not doing the butterfly where we drive our knees down. That's not the primary focus of this. What our goal is gonna be is to try to get our chest down towards our feet and ankles. That way we're stretching out the lower back. I personally like to tuck my hands underneath my ankles and grab the foot that way. That way it forces me to really drop the chest and get down close to the floor. Again, for this, 30 to 60 seconds on the stretch, if you have the time up to 90, just make sure we're not feeling any sharp pain or pinching in the lower back. From here, we're gonna get into that hip flexor stretch that we talked about before. Now, for the hip flexor stretch, there's two variations we can do. One is a standard hip flexor lunge, where we drop down to one knee, tuck our pelvis underneath, and drive the whole body forward. That alone is enough to get most people a stretch in the front of the hip. We want to make sure we're not arching really far back. Again, that's gonna be stretching the wrong structure, so we want to keep our pelvis tucked underneath us. If you want to increase the stretch here, you can take the arm on the side that you're stretching and reach it up overhead and also lean to the side. Once this becomes easy, we can then transition into our couch stretch, where again, we have our foot elevated behind us, the knee is on the floor, and again, sitting up tall for the hip flexor stretch. This stretch, like others, again, 30 to 60 seconds, up to 90 seconds to get that ideal time. And the last stretch we're gonna do to loosen up our lower back, our stiff low back, is gonna be our supine twisted cross. Now, this is very similar to an IT band stretch um, that you may have seen where we bring that leg up and over. I personally like to keep the knee bent for this, extra, or for this stretch. So what we'll do is have you lay flat on your back. You'll bring one of your knees up to about 90 degrees of hip flexion kind of shooting up towards the, the, the ceiling. From there, we'll grab with the opposite arm and we're gonna twist our knee towards the floor. With our opposite side, we're gonna be keeping that arm reached out towards the side and I actually want you to turn your head and eyes towards the opposite side. As you're holding this stretch, the biggest thing to do is to focus on breathing deeply through your core so you feel your back slowly start to relax. For this stretch, again, we would hold for, I would say at least 60 seconds on this side, making sure we're really focusing on deep breaths five or so second inhales and exhales, and we wanna repeat that on both sides. So I hope these stretches and rehab exercises are beneficial if you have a stiff lower back. If you're having pain in your low back, it's definitely something you don't want to avoid. So make sure you get that checked out by uh, a doctor in your area, somebody like a sports chiropractor or physiotherapist. Uh, we don't wanna uh, ignore lower back pain. It's very, very important to get that checked out. If you'd like more videos on lower back, click the link above. And if you haven't already, hit my face right here. Not like, you know, for real, but you know, click my face, hit subscribe, and then hit the bell so you know when we post videos. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up in, uh, in your comments below. Look forward to hearing from you guys, and we'll catch you on the next video.